Good morning. It was great to see you yesterday. Uh, it's the 19th of June and yes, yeah, sorry I didn't get to see everybody. It was a bit busy and also very wet and quite cold. On the plus side, it's still awful this morning, so it's not like you had the worst day of it. Um, Though arguably it's not as wet, he says, looking out the window. I don't know. Um, based on what's behind me on the desk right now, I think maybe my house was a better option. But it sprung a leak, so I can't. Um, in the meantime, I have some answers for you. And you'll be glad to know that this isn't a video entirely of my face. Uh, though apparently the same issue still plagued me where I don't quite get the camera right. And now I'm looking to the side rather than down, which is probably worse. Uh, anyway, don't worry. We're moving on. The answers... Here they are. Now, by this point, I'm guessing if you did watch the video yesterday, you kind of already know at least one of them. I don't think anybody can fail on the last question, uh, apart from, you know, just not submitting an answer. Thank you to everyone that uh, gave answers. Uh, you've already got the chocolates. I'm going to keep these going. We've only got three more weeks till the end of term. Um, is it three more weeks or four? Um, however long, we've only got that many weeks, so I'll keep these going because why not? Um, the Queen's official birthday, understandably a lo relatively low-key affair. What was it called? The answer is, in fact, A, the trooping of the colour. I'll be honest, I should have worked that one out, but I didn't when I was doing this. It's only the second time in a 68-year reign, oh, long time, that the usual parade in London has not gone ahead. The Queen celebrated her 94th birthday in April, but is officially and publicly celebrated on the second Saturday of June every year. Well, there you go. According to a new uh, study by French scientists, dogs are able to detect the COVID-19 by sniffing what? It's their armpits. Ew. Researchers trained eight Belgian, whatever those are, shepherd dogs to identify people infected with the coronavirus from odour samples taken from, oh right, they weren't sniffing the armpits, they were taking odour samples, so it's like a swab or something, uh, from 360 subjects, both healthy and suffering from COVID-19. The dog's overall success rate was 95%, which is more than the track and trace app by some considerable margin. Funny that. Um, US ca presidential candidate Joe Biden has said he's worried Donald Trump might be refuse to leave the White House if he loses the election. Mr. Biden also said he fears Mr. Trump may try and claim postal votes are fraudulent. He already has. He's, he's done that. That's a thing that has happened. It's not a thing in the future. It's a thing in the past. Thank you, question makers. Question four. In which UK city did this event occur last week? Well, obviously it was Bristol. Um, City officials will retrieve the statue of Edward Colston and place it in a museum after protesters hurled the monument into the harbour as part of anti-racism protests. Well, actually, it was a fairly local thing. I've talked about that already. Um, Drag through the streets is, is putting it a bit strongly, though, is a road. Uh, why has Twitter suspended and removed 32,000 accounts from China, Russia and Turkey? It's because they contain government propaganda. Twitter is disclosing the details of more than 32,000 accounts suspended and removed from its platform after investigation found ties to state-run propaganda and disinformation operations in China, Russia and Turkey. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Question six. What significant change has occurred within power generation? It's... It, we've not burned any coal. Hooray! We've gone a full two months without burning coal to generate power. Funny that, we've all still been here, we've all been at home. I'd argue you're using your electronics more than you were before the lockdown, and we've burned less power. It's almost like people weren't the virus. Capitalism is. Uh, a decade ago, about 40% of the country's electricity came from coal. The figures apply to Britain only, as Northern Ireland is not on the national grid. Uh, ICC has introduced a ban on players shining cricket balls using uh, all of those things, saliva. Uh. Players will be banned from the age-old technique of using saliva to shine a ball when cricket emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic. Good, good. I mean, you know, spitting on a ball and then hurling it at someone seems like, a, seems like something that should have been stopped before now, to be honest. Um, what's the name of this story that recently celebrated its 120th anniversary? It is, of course, The Wizard of Oz by Frank L. Baum. Uh, first published on May 17th, 1900. I'm, I'm going to do it that way around. It is an American date, but it's an American tale. And he said it should be an American fairy tale to replace those from the old world. That would be us. Um, as a consequence, it's become America's greatest and best loved homegrown fairy tale. Well, when we say America's, we mean the United States. So it should say the States. But hey, Question makers, what are you going to do, eh? Question nine, who is being sued for at least $5 billion for claims that illegally invades the privacy and internet users by tracking people while they're in private mode? It's Google! Of course it is. Many internet users assume their search history isn't being tracked when they view in private mode. Really? It actually says that when you go into this, by the way. Uh, and it's called private mode. 
huh. um, it does say that it's being tracked by everybody but not your computer uh, the search engine denies this is illegal and says it's up front about the data it collects in this mode yeah yeah it, it is if you ever open a uh, private mode on um, Google, it will tell you. How do I know this? I've done it plenty of times by accident trying to open a new tab. Um, why was one of Banksy's artworks in the news last week? It was because it's a stolen artwork that's finally turned up in Italy. The artwork was cut out and removed from a Bataclan music hall in Paris last year by a group of hooded people using angle grinders. The Bataclan music hall was the site of a tragic terrorist attack. Is there another kind of terrorist attack? In 2015. It's since been found uh, in a farmhouse in rural Italy. Why has mining giant Rio Tinto been in the news recently? I think I know this one. They blew up 46,000 year old Aboriginal caves in Australia. The Yukon Gorge Caves in the Pibara region were destroyed as Rio Tinto expanded an iron ore project. Many prehistoric artifacts have been found at the remote heritage site, but of course now they're all blown up. This is because the Australian government has said that there are no protections for any monument if it's needed uh, to be removed in the name of coal mining to protect jobs, you see. Which Asian country is home to this spectacular landscape that's been badly afflicted by flooding? And I think it was in The Man with the Golden Gun. It's China. Uh, floods and mudslides in South China have uprooted hundreds of thousands of people, uh, like trees, I suppose, and have claimed dozens of lives, according to state media. Torrential downpours unleashed floods and mudslides that caused nearly 230,000 people to be relocated and destroyed more than 1,300 homes. So, Probably more than dozens. Dozens, of course, refers to twelves of people. Question 13. A deal has been struck between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury for two boxing matches in 2021. How are the fights being promoted? The Battle of Britain. Really? Really? Oh, uh, yeah. Joshua holds the WBA, IBF, WBO and IBO belts, while Fury is the reigning WBC champion. Cool. Both men hail from the United Kingdom. Cool. Um... The record label for artists to include Drake and Ariana Grande has stopped using which word in an effort to recognize the broad range of styles performed by its artists? It is urban. Republic Records, one of the most powerful record labels in the US, will stop using the word urban to describe music. Okay, the term is often considered to be a generalization that lumps very different styles of music under one word and marginalizes music by black artists. I'll be honest, not a term I was aware of. Um, a British man was successfully rescued last week after being trapped down an Indonesian well. For how many days had he been trapped? I heard this on the radio. It was six days. The 29-year-old man broke his leg after falling into the four-meter deep well in well in while um, while being chased by a dog in Bali. The well was dry, but his leg meant he was unable to get out because he broke his leg. There was a small amount of water in the well, which likely kept him alive. His cries for help were eventually heard by a local resident herding pigs. Question 16, which country has this flag? Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. Sorry, that, that's an awful joke and I, I shan't try again. Question 17, true or false? Sporting great Roger Federer has announced an injury. We'll keep him out of tennis until 2021. Uh, the answer is true. Well done. Thank you both, uh, Reese and Toby, for getting that one right, because I did not know. The 20-time Grand Slam champion underwent surgery to his right knee in February, but his rehabilitation has not gone according to plan, meaning he won't return to action until next year. In what country would you most likely see a kookaburra? It is, of course, Australia. They're a large type of kingfisher bird, famous for their laughing call, laughing like a kookaburra. The noise is often used in movies to set an Australian scene. By how much of economists estimated the UK economy shrunk in April due to lockdown? Whatever the answer is wrong, it's 20.74. So, uh, they say 20.4. The largest monthly contraction on record as the country spent its first full month in lockdown. The contraction is three times greater than the decline seen during the whole of 2008 to 2009 economic downturn and may even match that of the Great Depression in the 1930s. Um, they say it's likely to be the worst month as the government began easing the lockdown in May. Thank God for that, eh? We can go out and infect people, but we can spend money in shops that aren't essential. What's the name of this iconic British comedy series? And I kind of ruined this one. Obviously, it's Fartiel's. Um, an episode of the economy will reinstate the streaming service with a warning about offensive content and language because it is a pretty offensive episode to be honest do watch it. it's hilarious but be aware that it's got pretty offensive language it was offensive for the time it's offensive now um, it had removed the episode while it carried out a review of the racial slurs that it used by a character in it there are a lot like a lot and if we're going to go for racial slurs, I think there's at least one an episode. But that's kind of the point. You're not supposed to be sympathetic to Basil Fawlty. He is a bit of a monster. Um, 
though John Cleese thought he was a sympathetic character, make of that what you will. So, um, them and the answers, and now you know as much as I do. Um, I will, of course, put how we did. Don't worry about that. I can't remember right now. It's, it's on a it's on a book, which isn't on my desk because I picked it up yesterday. So anyway, have a lovely day, Year 10. Thank you very much for coming in yesterday. It was lovely to see you all. As I say, my apologies for not getting around to see everybody. Uh, James, you better have started using that timetable. That's all I'm saying. Um, and the rest of you, yeah, have a lovely day. Uh, well, it's certainly drier and therefore a better day, I think, for not being in school. I think we had the best day to come in school because it's pretty awful. I, of course, will see you next week um, where I'm going to be in school again. And you are as well. So who knows? I may see you around the place. Um, awkward pause on which to finish the video.